Hello, hello, I'm Manic Insomniac, and welcome to a brand new series. Today we are playing Underrail. Yes, um, for those who don't know, and much like myself, don't have a much a lot of information about this game, Underrail is an old school RPG, um, apparently very much in the vein of the original Fallouts. Um, now I'm one of those gamers that like to go into games blind, so that is pretty much all I know, like, apart from a few uh, screenshots I've seen. Uh, that's that's it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, what little I know of the story is that it is post-apocalyptic, if you couldn't tell by this background, and uh, humanity is living out its time underground in a series of old abandoned metro stations that they've taken for to, uh, well, they've converted to live in, as you would in the post-apocalypse. So who knows what the surface is like, but it looks like it's going to be fairly dangerous. You know, you got um, some heavily armed Hellgas type looking soldiers, some giant rats at the back there, if I can see them right. A train, you know, and some big centipede things. Fun. Um, not much else to do, let's just jump into it. Okay, uh, we got the three difficulties. Let's see. Uh, easy is for people who find the combat a bit too hard. We'll go with that. Double health and medical consumables heal for more with reduced cooldown. Nah, we don't need that. Provides a lot of challenge to the average hardcore. Well, I wouldn't say I'm hardcore gamer, but there we go. Less room for error in combat. This is the way the game is meant to be played. And then hard is meant for experienced players. So it's probably for the ones who've uh, played the game a few times. I'll uh, stick with normal since that's how it says. And then we've got uh, two different types of experience systems, which is different. Um, oddity. Uh, you gain experience up by collecting oddities scattered across the underrail. And by completing quests, higher end oddities are found in progressively more dangerous and hard to access areas. No experience is granted for skill usage or killing, although some oddities are only dropped by creatures. It's kind of um, first edition D and D. You didn't get so much experience from killing things; more the stuff you found. Um, and then the classic XP system, which is from killing, completing quests, and utilizing certain skills. I think we'll stick with the default oddity, you know, we'll, we'll be a bit of a searcher, we'll be a bit of a loot whore and get in there finding stuff. Sounds like a plan to me. So let's accept that. And we get to create our character. Hmm. Again, um, very uh, standard RPG looking stats. We've got five to put in, but we can change things. Uh, enter name. We'll just put Manic, because Manic and Sonic is too long and even I can't even say it all the time the time which is silly um, we've got portraits green glowy eyes he's covered in blood he's cool okay they look like old school like some soldiers they do with that uniform bruiser guy pointy beard he actually looks like someone someone I've seen somewhere anyway cool beard uh, yeah generic guys Old dude, lab coat people, yay! Um, beard, nice helmet. Wow, he looks like Malcolm Reynolds. It's the shirt mostly. Um, they're all male, but looks a bit. Oh wait, that's because of. <laughs> Bo. That looks like from some game. Okay. Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Man Max here. Shadowy guy, cool, cool. Hmm, hmm. There's a lot of choices. Who do we want to be? Oh, I think that's all of them. Who do we want to be? Who do we want to be? Should we just be generic character guy? Let's be generic character guy. Sure. <laughs> hmm. Um, no. What type of character would I want to build? Um, I quite like uh, fast characters. Someone with a lot of stealth. That sounds good. Let's actually read what this stats do as well. So we've got strength, which is muscle power, affects melee damage, and uh, allows you to carry more. Okay, good for heavy weapons. Dexterity is for, as you expect, hand-eye re hand coordination, reflexes. Good for theory, throwing, and initiative. Oh, so yeah, you act faster. Okay, increases critical strike chance of melee attacks. High dexterity also reduces the action point cost of unarmed light weapons. Okay, so probably a good choice. Agilities, reflexes, and fleet-footedness. Fleet okay. 
fix dodge, evasion, initiative, and movement points. Those increases stealth as well. Okay, constitution, which should be your just general health and stamina. Yeah, cool. Okay, so yeah, yeah so this would help if you were going for a big beefy tank guy. Um, okay, perception. Discern objects and far away as notice hidden things in their vicinity. Helps the character use ranged weapons more effectively, as well as detect hidden objects, passages, and creatures. Handy, we might go put a point in there at least. Will measures character's mental determination to, he, to his actions, regardless of various mental difficulties, such as pain suggestion. Psy disciplines. We can be psychic, dude. Psychic. <laughs> That's awesome. And intelligence, which is pretty much self explanatory. Good for characters that focus on science. Um, good for side point regeneration. Should we have a speedy psychic? That sounds like a plan. Drop a point of strength, maybe. Because I, I want a speedy guy. Maybe go. Whoop. Maybe go something like that. We're a little weak, but we're quite fast. I wonder. Hopefully, we can uh, bump these stats up later for a level up and stuff. But that's a good start, I think. It's a good start. Skills. Oh my God! Look at all those skills. Okay, um, gun throwing, crossbows, melee, dodge evasion, what do we want? So these are the psychic things I've gone about. Social skills, technology. Okay, so let's, let's stick with the theme, let's get these up first. Oh, you get bonus depending on how high you go, okay. Oh, and it adds to other skills. That is awesome. Should we get, 15 is max. Should we max out these two? Make it really hard for us to be hit. Okay. Uh, let's yeah, I wanna go for a psychic guy. That sounds fun. So we'll put ten into each of these, I think. Give us a good baseline. Since they're all boosting each other by the looks of it, yeah. That's good, that's good. Um I think persuasion's usually a good skill for that. Convince the other party to see all means with non violent means. Okay. It's your own bill. Um, we won't go intimidation, but we'll put a few points into mercantile. Since that's usually good for just general shopping and stuff. Do we want other skills? Crafting for weapons, armor, and traps. Electronics for uh, energy weapons and such. Okay. Chemistry for explosives. Ooh. <laughs> Biology. Well, hang on, explosives, and there's a trap skill there. Should we go for explosive traps? That'd be hilarious. Yeah, let's go for explosive traps. That'd be that'd be funny as hell. Ah, your psychic can't affect me. Kaboom! In the background, awesome. All right, do we need anything else? We should probably get some sort of crossbows. Crossbows are cool. Throwing weapons, including grenades. And then to general guns. I kind of want to go crossbows. I like crossbows. Um. Yeah, let's. It lies on perception, apparently. We'll put five into each of these, so we've got a good baseline. I've got ten points left. Synergizes with traps. Mm-hmm. Um ooh, character creation guys. <laughs> this might actually be long enough that I could just do a separate episode on just creating my character. Because Yeah. I've still got another tab to go. What do I want? What do I want? Maybe st maybe a few points in stealth. And Hacking is electronics. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Choices, choices. Biology, what's this? Um, crafting various items such as healing and psi restoration. Ooh, we'll go without them because it's got psi restoration concoctions. Okie dokie. Well, that's us. There we go. That's all our points. Probably not the most useful character. They're fairly spread out, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got. Feet as well, and we can have two feet. 
Show all? What, are there more? Oh, these are stuff I, don't have, I can't have because I've not got the uh, stats for it. Okay, that's pretty cool. We'll stick with what we know then. Let's see, there's not that many here. Uh, conditioning reduces all mechanical heat and cold damage taken by 10%. Okay. Um, non critical, do additional mechanical damage. That's pretty good. Uh, nimble reduces armor penalty by 15 and corrupts 15 bonus to your dust. Well, that's pro I'm probably going to lock that one in. Um, we're going for the dodgy character, so that's pretty good. Ninja looter, better for pickpocketing. Opportunist, a bit, 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 bit. opportunist, increases damage against rooted targets. Okay. Pack around, increases comet carry capacity, paranoia. Um, <laughs> just generally be paranoid. Detection increased by 20%. And the chance to get critically hit reduced by three. Also, your weapon and alarm damage is increased by 30% against stealth enemies. Quick pockets. Uh, extra utility slot. That might be useful. Recklessness. Increases your chance to critically hit, but also increases your chance to be critically hit. Interesting. Snooping. And higher perception. Hidden passages and other secrets. Okay. Shorter. Uh, get through caltrops and puddle acids easier. Hit and run. Every time you kill an enemy with your melee or ranged weapon, your movement points are reset to 25. If they were below that number. That's pretty awesome. And then sprint. Additional 30 movement for two turns. Only effective out of stealth. Hmm. I quite like hit and run. We'll go with hit and run. That sounds cool. They can't catch me. They can't catch me. For I am the gingerbread man. Yes. Anyway, I think that's it. I think that's our character created. Um, I think if I click accept, this starts the game. Oh. Oh, this is the intro. So we'll play for this and then we'll start. All right, let's stop it, of course. Uh, quick repairs. What's the situation at the South Tunnel? Uh, got to dig deeper to plant the explosives or we risk more damage to the tunnel. Almost everyone is working shifts up there. Shouldn't be too long now. Okay, so there's been sort of some sort of collapse and they're clearing it in the tunnel. Gorski, how's security looking? Got one man at the cave exit and that's enough as far as I'm concerned. Automated security is strong there and as long as we know the crossroad and cove are clear, uh, no one can sneak up on us. Okay, good. Also, we got one man at the under passages, and he's been ordered not to open the gate no matter what. The last thing we need right now are those bloody lurkers sneaking up on us. Okay. Uh, everyone else is up at the platform securing workers and tunnels. Okay. Hadrian Tanner. I'm guessing he's the boss then. Uh, good, good. If no one has anything else to add, this will conclude this council meeting. Actually, just one more thing if you weren't informed already. I admitted a new citizen to the station. That manic fellow? Yeah, it's me. Uh, yes, I I think he would be a good addition to this station. He and Ben Sellers stood the range, but they should be done any moment now, I believe. Didn't you? You put too much trust in your test, Anna. All I care about is how he handles live action, not many points he got. Vera how? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Best point to work immediately. We'll, we need all hands on the deck right now. Indeed, that is all, Vera. Gorski. Okie dokie. And I guess and this is me. Um, well, that's Vencel, so that's probably me here. An unexpected yawn interrupts Vencel. He instinctively raises his left hand to cover his mouth, forgetting that he's wearing a respirator. A tiny smile creeps upon your face due to this very fact. Yet you understand that after so many hours of testing, these kinds of lapses tend to sneak up on people. He continues soon. Excuse me? All in all, Manic, as far as I'm concerned, we're done here. I've got a few other things to do, but unless you'd like to have another go at the testing range, you have no reason to stay here any longer. Okay, I've, um, I did the tutorial earlier, so I'm not going to put you through it again, it's just uh, how to use buttons and stuff. Um, so we won't do that. We shall, we'll ask how we did though. Because <laughs> it, it pretty does it for the game, just for story mode. Um, I can't tell you that, Manic. Persuade. Come on, man, it'll just stay between you and me. He yawns again. Nah, you have to be patient, I'm afraid. 
didn't put enough points into persuasion. <laughs> so we're done here, or we'll skip the tutorial. I have no doubt you'll like it. I've yet to see any other newcomers complain. What? Okay. Oh, yeah, at the end of the tutorial he says something about your room being nice and stuff, so... He laughs. Continue. Nothing more to say than congratulations again, Manic, and welcome to Southgate Station. Go get some rest. Okay. And that is the end of the opening to the game. We are at a place called Safegate Station. We are our own room. We've just been inducted into the community by the looks of things. Um, yeah. And I think I'm going to leave the episode there. So uh, drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, the next episode will be a fairly due time. But if you need something to fill the time... I have a lot of other videos you can always check out. Uh, this is the 4 series concurrently running on my channel at the moment. Um, I've been Manic Insomniac. Good night.